And welcome to a special edition of Tucker Carlson. And it didn't take long. It took, well, about a year and a half for the Biden administration to destroy the American economy and drive this nation into a recession. Now, the Biden administration won't admit that we're in a recession. In fact, they've tried to redefine the word recession, just as they've redefined the words democracy and racism and woman. But you don't need to know what the word is to know what is happening. If you live here, you see it every single day. We're in a recession. The economy has been shrinking all year. Real wages are at record lows. And at the same time, inflation is the highest it's been in the lifetime of most Americans. So call it whatever you want, but it's a recession. And it's scary. And they're ignoring it. We're going to spend the next hour investigating how exactly this happened. How did they tank the economy so fast? And what does it mean? And to get to the answers to those questions, we're going to speak to people who have actual credibility on economics. And that emphatically does not include our most highly credentialed economists, people who, like the public health experts we've watched for the last two and a half years, have thoroughly beclowned and discredited themselves. A year ago, right about the time he told us that vaccines will absolutely prevent you from getting or transmitting COVID, Joe Biden was asked about, hey, what happens if we go into a recession? In response, as he invariably does, Joe Biden invoked highly credentialed experts. Watch this. We also know that as our economy has come roaring back, we've seen some price increases. Some folks have raised worries that this could be a sign of persistent inflation. But that's not our view. Our experts believe, and the data shows, that most of the price increases we've seen are, were expected and are expected to be temporary. Every word read off a teleprompter. A decade from now, we're going to see tape like that and think, I cannot believe that man was the president of the United States. But consider what his handlers wrote for him. The experts Biden was referring to are, in fact, some of the most well-credentialed figures in all of academic economics. In fact, two months later, in September of last year, 17 winners of the Nobel Prize in economics signed a letter urging Joe Biden to spend as much money as possible. And we're quoting... The Build Back Better package, they wrote, will transform the U.S. economy to be more efficient without presenting an inflationary threat. So go ahead and spend more money, create it out of thin air, print it, and there's no chance you'll get inflation. Winners of the Nobel Prize in economics said that. If you took Econ 101, you're laughing at that. By the way, it wasn't just them. The chairman of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, said the same thing. Quote, the incoming data are very consistent with the view that inflation will move down toward our goals, Powell said. <laughs> it's like idiotic. And it turned out not to be true. Now, the remarkable thing, the way you know this isn't simply incompetence, they did this on purpose, is what happened when these so-called experts were exposed as frauds, which they are. Not a single one of these eminent Nobel Prize winning economists ever apologized for the letter they wrote or even explained how they got it wrong. They're still saying the same thing. Spend more money and it won't affect inflation because when you have much more of something, it's worth the same. Oh, because supply and demand isn't real. They're all saying this to the extent they're even paying attention. Most of them aren't. They're way off into lifestyle liberal land. Like, they 